On this week's episode of The Harbor, we're gonna hear from up and coming country music artist, Kelsey Ballerini, talk about the importance of your individuality. What's up, it's Kelsey Ballerini, and I am a country music singer-songwriter. My favorite years, but while I was in them, my hardest years were eighth grade and my freshman year in high school. That was the year that I learned how to pick up a guitar and write songs, and that was the year that changed my life. I just remember, I was kind of like a floater. I didn't quite have a group of friends. I was just kind of like friends with some of the cool kids and then some of the people that sat in the back row and I just floated. I tried out for the cheerleading squad and I didn't make it. And I was like one of like the five girls that didn't make it. I was like devastated because I thought that meant that I was never gonna be cool. And it sounds silly now, but um, it was a big deal. I was growing up and you know, boys got cute and all this stuff happened and my parents were also splitting up at, at the same time. And there was just a lot of change going on in my life. I always loved music, I loved it so much, but um, I didn't really think that being from Knoxville, Tennessee, like, you could be a singer. I just kind of accidentally started writing songs that were actually just journals about feeling different and, you know, my parents splitting up and all that stuff that I was going through at the time and literally just fell in love with it. And um, it became this passion and even though I didn't know if it was doable, I just pursued it. And it was this cool thing that I just kind of let happen because I felt like it was what was supposed to happen. Um, and moved to Nashville when I was 15 to do it. I started learning how to be in an individual and how to let my, my flaws and my differences make me me. One of my biggest lessons of individuality was my first time coming to Nashville, I was 14, I think. I had just started writing songs and uh, I, I was kind of trying to write what was on country radio because I wanted to be an artist on country radio and I didn't understand that you couldn't write what was already on the radio. But I had this meeting, it was my first record label meeting ever. I was in this big long office um, and it was just me and the head of this label. I was very intimidated, it was very scary. And um, I just remember playing a song and he looked at me and he said, there's already a Taylor Swift. And it hurt my feelings so bad, but he was right. I think that I, that, that lesson for me was I have to be myself. Like, if I want to be a country music artist or whatever you want to be, like, the, the people that you look up to, it's okay to look up to them and be inspired by them, but they're already there. Like, you have to be you. And I think that going home and learning that lesson and stepping back and saying, like, what do I want to say? How do I want to say it? Like, what do I want to sound like? That was a really cool and important lesson for me to learn really, really early on. Being comfortable in your own skin is super hard sometimes. And I think that the world is always gonna tell you that it's not good enough and all that stuff, um, cause that happens. And I think that when you can be comfortable in your own skin and be an individual, that's when you're gonna be the happiest in your entire life. You are in the years of your life right now where you're shaping your future and you're learning about who you are, who you wanna be and it is okay to not be cool. Discover things about yourself that are different and, and learn about that. And if it's different than what anyone else is doing, that's okay. I think if I wouldn't have let myself find that passion at that age, I wouldn't be doing my dream right now. It's okay to be whatever you wanna be and own it and rock it. Good morning, Solanco. Today is Monday, December 18th. The weather for today is partly cloudy uh, with a high of 48, and the lunch for today is mini pancakes. Starting January 4th, there will be several opportunities for athletes to prepare for the upcoming spring season. All workouts are until 4.30 p.m. Monday and Wednesday will be speed and agility training with Coach Leinhart and any athletes. Tuesday and Thursday will be lifting and track workouts with Coach Armstrong and Coach Alpinaldo. For track athletes, and Friday there are track workouts with Coach Albinaldo. Coach Haynes will also be at some practices. Minithon is holding its second annual Delay the Day event on December 21st. You can delay the start of first period by bringing in change and placing it in the designated box. Your teacher must then count it and wrap it prior to the start of class. The only way the teacher can opt out of this is if they call us in the morning to collect the box agreed to match your class's donation. Remember, all proceeds go to the help children with cancer. The Career Room will be hosting two Solenka career presentations featuring three former Solenka students. The presentations will include information on the students and their current professions and an open discussion on exploring careers followed by a question and answer session. 
The first presentation will be Wednesday, December 20th at 1 p.m. The second presentation is Friday, December 22nd at 10 a.m. Anyone interested in attending can see Mrs. Phillips in the career room to sign up starting today. There will be a mandatory link room meeting during advisory tomorrow in the LGI room. Please plan to attend. Students are reminded that the festive sweater contest will take place this Thursday, December 21st during advisory. Participants will be welcomed to cocoa and cookies after the judging in the cafeteria. The top two winners will also receive daily grind gift cards courtesy of Student Senate. Today's events are Spring Musical Practice, Auditorium, 3 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Boys Junior High Basketball versus Cocalico, home 4 p.m. Girls Junior High Basketball at Cocalico, dismiss at 1.50 p.m. Boys Basketball versus Cocalico, home 6 p.m. and 7.30 p.m. Girls Basketball at Cocalico, 6 p.m. and 7.30 p.m. Softball Open Gym, Small Gym, 6 o'clock p.m. to 7.30 er, p.m. And Mock Trial, LGI Room, 2.45 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. We would like to wish the following a happy birthday. Elena Kreider and Miss Lacer. Please stop by the library to pick up your birthday treat. On behalf of the WSLC News Team, I'm Austin Murray and have a mogul Wednesday, Slanko.